Is that who I think it is? No, 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 no. It couldn't possibly be that. It's 2020, not. But could it? Could it possibly be? Excuse me, could I stop muttering to myself? Ugh, you always do this to me. How about you let me process my thoughts in real time, you... Uh... Oh, it's you. Look, if you are who I think you are, you're a relatively chill dude who rolls with the punches and is I gonna have to get used to listening to my inane questions. But whether or not you're that relatively chill dude I think you are is still up for debate. So, can I ask you, a relatively chill dude, a question? Are you... Is your name... Do you... Gah! Is this the person you are? Be careful with that ID card. It's laminated. And holographic. Ooh, and sharp. That's a bleeder, all right. Uh, you should be fine, at least. Try not to bleed directly onto the card. If the master computer determines your blood to be what it determines as fresh and kind enough to keep its motherboard running, then you're just going to live out the rest of your days as a walking, talking oil can. Well, of course the corners are little blades. It's a card for slower system software development. Every employee there gets a kill count of three customers a month for the higher-ups fear that any more than that and our taste for blood will never be slaked. They're wrong, though. I know their blood gets sweet and soft from never having to wade through those service pits. And damn them for it. Yeah, that's right. An SSSD official. Issued in the year 2540. Yes, the year 2540. No, I didn't misspeak. No, this is not a joke by one of your friends. If the you I know is the same as the you I know now, you're not exactly the monarch of social butterflies, so to speak. Gah! Think with your puny Cro-Magnon brain! The year 2540. You, friendless loser. Loser, 2540, friendless year. Does that help pound it into your thick dolphin-like skull. <sighs> Look, I'm... I'm sorry. It was a long day already, and wouldn't you know it, Mr. Bossman is telling me, Sarah Lime, you gotta guess a market researcher who knows what humans really like. You gotta get me something that'll get to the primal urges of the market. As if every sentient creature across the nine galaxies doesn't have some kind of triple SD oodles attached to their flesh. And it's like, huh? What? What's that about dolphin skulls? Well, gah! How am I supposed to know? I've never even seen a dolphin! Do you think I know how thick their skulls are supposed to be? They heard they had real big brains, though. Muscle-wrapped skin beast, though. Can't understand the appeal. Maybe that's where I got the idea. Do they really laugh, though? I've heard that they laugh. Oh, so they click and whistle in their own strange language? Huh. That's kind of neat. I can't imagine what that would sound like, though. me <clears throat> the point is I am here to fulfill a timeline of sorts this evening my this evening before I got to head to the pod the mr. Bossman was telling me that he feels that the company is growing detached that's right detached from the population's baseline urges I mean sure 
Triple SD oodles can be bought in any shop where there's a proper civilized civilization. And a lot of work has been done in the psychology of humans and subliminal messaging and whatnot, but to know why you hunger isn't the same as hungering. So, I've come to understand. So, the Mr. Bossman wants somebody less detached from the technology we know today to best find what people really want. And he wants it yesterday. So, what better way to find out the primitive ones of the people of yesterday than to take a decommissioned time machine out for a joyride? Well, it's not exactly a joyride. If anything, it's a work trip. If this was a joyride, I would definitely be at the place where the dolphins are, instead of picking up your dumpy. <sighs> Don't take this up personally, but... You're not a bad employee. You're just... an inconvenient one. To me. Personally. I don't hate you, but on the clock you are... bane of my existence. And if I could spin your face on sub having to engage in a single conversation with you, I would. You can be both fine and the most annoying person alive. You exist. It's fine. It's fine. Decommissioned? Well, yeah. All time machines are decommissioned. Not because they're too dangerous, but because history is boring as shit, dude. Nobody even knows where they're going in 2540. We're too sexy for that. Do you know what's happening in 1254? How about 2345? I bet you don't even know about the Great Emu War. The only reason I know is because I found it funny that that's a thing that actually happened. And because of my sacrifice, I'm only an 8 out of 10 now. <sighs> Look, if I really hated you all that much, would I have spent the last couple of months researching potential candidates that both have the requirements and the skill set to belong in that time, the time that I know? Sure, a lot of it can be seen as a grill, as some of you kids may say, but to truly be able to exist simultaneously as both a product of your time and outside of it is, well, admittedly amazing to me. I mean, you watched me for 19 minutes trying to operate that that skinny thing with the slot that requires you to put in some kind of slot thing that turnstile. You watched me for 19 minutes trying to operate a turnstile before I gave up and forced you to help me. So many things are regarded as ahead of their time. Is it such an insult for you to be one of those things? Ugh, gah. I'm gonna hate hearing how Squishy, you might say I was as soon as I get you in the office. Hmm? Why do I know dude but struggle with your other modern things? Well, gah. Dude is eternal. I don't even know why you needed to ask. <laughs> well, try not to be mushy in my periphery, but kiss the 2020 you know now goodbye and get ready to face the 25. What? What? It's not 2020? Well then what year is it? 2016? Huh. Uh, just give me a sec. SSSD, give me a timeline of 2016. Oof. Oh. Oh, 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 buddy, buddy. Mm. Oh, buddy. Uh, I guess I'll be back for you in May of 2020 if that's any consolation. Look at the bright side. Sport. 
Hmm. Oh, I guess I have some advice for you. Sure. Why not? I suppose it's a thing you're supposed to ask. Uh... All in all, remember that you're a wonderful person with inherent value and that everything's going to be fine, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Learn to make better tea, although you're a cog in the wheel of a much bigger system, you have rights, and those above you are fearful of you realizing those rights. Don't ask me to read your shitty-ass poetry, much less listen to you recite it. Don't buy stock in any airlines, just don't buy any stocks in general, honestly, because I still don't understand how that system works. So I don't see how you could. Um, stop paying for everything and change. Stop stealing Mr. Bossman's Tweedles just because Alan and Racking tell you to do so. Don't change your name just because Mr. Bossman keeps getting it wrong. And lastly, I guess, uh, know that... No matter where, or when, or who you are, there'll, there'll always be people who care for you. They might not know you, but they'll know you. And an intimacy without passion can only be met with a passion without intimacy if you aren't willing to accept the morbid possibility of both. Now, in return for that saucy future sauce, do you think you can make this dead-end trip worth my while and take me to the dolphins? It's the least you could do after I just gave you some life-changing advice and nearly absconded with you for years too soon, right? Help a co-worker out, you know. Ooh, an aquarium? Sounds... Fascinating. Take me there at once. Yeah. By the way, disregard that airline thing. I think it's technically insider trading, and if you have to commit a crime, I think it should at least be something fun and sexy like battery, you know? Ooh. Dolphins, dolphins, dolphins!